you may want to build an upper level for your CNC cage. I'm Monique from Guinea Piggles and I'm going to show you how to build a loft and a ramp for your CNC cage. If you followed the first video in this playlist, you'll have already made your 2x4 cage. If not, you might want to watch that first. We're starting this video with a completed 2x4 cage. To make the loft and ramp, you'll need extra grids, connectors, cable ties, coroplast, tape, a pair of scissors and marker pen, a ruler, tape measure, craft knife, pliers or a wire cutter and also a file. Before we begin the loft you'll need to turn three connectors around. Now add the grids to make your loft. Cable tie the corners and sides for extra stability. Now add the front grid. Cable tie the grids at the base of the cage loft to make sure it's nice and strong. We're going to add another grid to the loft but we need to cut a gap for the door first. This is the section to cut. Use a pair of pliers or wire cutters and cut as close to the edge as you can. You'll need to file any sharp edges. The final grid is ready to put in place. Now you need a piece of coroplast that measures 101 by 65 centimetres. Mark 15 centimetres in from each side. Use your pen and ruler to mark the lines all the way around. Cut in 15 centimetres as marked from each short end. So that's just four cuts. Then use a craft knife to score along the remaining lines, making sure you don't cut right through. Turn over the coroplast and fold up the edges along the scored lines. Tape your corners with a flap and tape on the outside of the box. Place your box into the loft and mark where you need to cut for the door. flap down. This will tuck under the ramp. You need to bend three of your grids to make the ramp structure. On each grid you'll see a small gap on one of the sides. Keep this either on the left 
or right when you're bending it. Place the grid over the arm of a chair or a piece of wood or something similar so you can bend it. The bend should be three squares in on each side. Make sure you bend it enough or it won't fit properly into the cage. Once you've done this to three grids, place them together so they overlap by three squares. Cable tie securely at various points so it's a solid structure. Using cable ties, secure the ramp to the cage. Measure your choroplast to make the inner part of the ramp. It needs to be 83 by 20 centimetres. Measure 5 centimetres in from each edge and score with a craft knife. Turn over and bend the choroplast along the scored lines. Place the choroplast on the ramp to make sure it fits. Fix the ramp at the top with cable ties. We used a hole punch to make two holes at the top of the choroplast ramp, which made it really easy to secure. Now you need a piece of towel that can be folded four times to make a thick enough surface so there is no problem with your guinea pigs being able to grip. If it isn't thick enough, your guinea pigs will slide and refuse to use the ramp. Make sure the towel covers the choroplast. The towel should be at least 20 centimetres longer than the ramp. This is so you can tuck it under the fleece liner in the loft which will help keep it in place. This is a Guinea Dad fleece liner. It's a bit big at the moment as it hasn't had its first wash, but will fit perfectly once it's been through the washing machine. We now need to add a couple of extra grids to the side, so we need to turn these two connectors. The reason we're adding these grids is for safety reasons so your guinea pigs can't jump out of the cage when using the ramp. Now it's complete. Use food to entice your guinea pigs up and down the ramp at first. You can see our piggies can easily get up and down. Links to all you need to make this cage, including the accessories, plus the piggy's favourite ball toy, are in the description below. Check out our other videos and we have lots more coming, so make sure you subscribe.